The next step we're going to look at is extremely useful, uh, one that you usually would have had to install various softwares on your computer. Um, I find it most useful when helping other people, but you can certainly use it on your own as well. And that's called Chrome Remote Desktop, so let's head into that. When you add Chrome Remote Desktop as an app, unlike the others, it will download something and it will install something. That's just the way uh, remoting into computers has to work so that you can get to the, and, you know, the entire desktop, the whole computer. So once you do that, the first time you add it um, and run it, it's going to make you give access to your uh, computer through your Google account, which is you know, just fine. And then you basically start setting up computers that you can access. So the first one I have access to is right behind me, um, my work iMac. So if I click on that, you pick your own pin and I can then remote into a machine. So if I left my work computer on, I could, uh, hopefully you're seeing things going on in the background here. Let me make some things happen here. So if I jump around, you can see it's changing things back there. So I could remote or let's say I'm at home really lazy sitting on the couch and my computer upstairs is on. I can always remote into that as well. Um, I can choose to disconnect from here. The user, can, the other computer can also disconnect. So I'm just gonna disconnect that one. Um, uh, the other way this is useful is if I need to do something on a computer that I can't do on my Chromebook, <clears throat> then I can remote into a different computer with my Chromebook. So now I'm gonna remote into my laptop, which you guys will see. And I'll be back here, just so you know I'm not working on my computer. And I, I can do things from here. I've actually used this when I forgot a file at home. So what I did was uh, remote into my home computer, log into my email on that computer, and then just email myself the file, which is pretty awesome. Now, if I want to help someone at school, let me disconnect this first. You know, and I'm I'm here and I want to help someone else. They don't have to, um, you know, I don't have to run it through my Google. Basically, there's this top one, Remote Assistant. So there's my computers down here, which use your PIN, and then there's Remote Assistant. So what I do is, um, lately, when I have people who need help on their computer, I just say, hey, you're running the Chrome browser, yeah. Can you go add Chrome Remote Desktop? So they add it, they, um, you know, run it that first time, and then all they have to do is click Share, it gives them this code, and then they just usually were you know on the phone, they read it to me, or we're just talking through Google Chat it, within Gmail. So then they just send that to me, and then I can remote right into their computer and fix things like that too. So just another really useful app, uh, very practical in the tech world.